Hey everyone, I'm Shrishtika Nilakantam and welcome to Ablee's Quick Tips. In this tutorial, we'll see how to implement Publish Subscribe using Ablee's real-time platform. Here's what we'll implement in this tutorial. We'll have a publisher written in Node.js that will connect to our Ablee's real-time platform over WebSockets using Ablee's real-time library. This publisher will continuously publish some dummy data to the platform and will have a subscriber written in JavaScript, which will run in a browser, which is also connected to Ablee's real-time platform using the real-time library over WebSockets. And it is connected, it is subscribed to the same channel that the publisher is publishing to. So let's see how all of this works. So let's go ahead and launch the terminal. Move to the right folder and create three files index.html, subscriber.js, these will be on the client side, and also publisher.js, which will be a Node.js file. Go ahead and launch the code editor. I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio Code. So here we are. For our index file, let's quickly go ahead and fill the simple HTML template. Let's call this pubsub in AB. And let's go ahead and add the script CDN. You can get it from the website. So if you go to documentation and see the real-time client libraries constructed in usage, you'll find the CDN right here and we'll use the version one. That's the latest version of the library. So let's go ahead and copy it, paste it right here and close the script tag. We need to add one more script, which will be our local subscriber file. Subscriber.js and type is text slash JavaScript. Okay. Now within the body of this HTML file, Let's add a simple h1 tag and give it an ID so we can reference it from our JavaScript file. Now it's time to code our subscriber.js file. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll begin with instancing Ably's real-time library like so. For real-time equals new Ably dot real-time and here I'll say key is API key. Now, if you observe, I've used the basic authentication scheme here, but it is not a recommended authentication strategy to be used on the client side. Why? Because your API key is prone to compromise while it's on its way from the server to the client. So you would instead use token authentication and set up an auth server yourself. But for the simplicity of this tutorial, I'm using basic authentication anyways. So let me go ahead and get my API key, which I'll get from the dashboard of my application. And if you come here to the API keys tab, you'll see your API key. Make sure your API key has all the privileges that you require for the purpose of your application. So I've pasted the API key and next, let me go ahead and set up a channel. So I would say var subscriber channel equals real time oops ably dot channels dot get let us call this time okay perfect now let us go ahead and subscribe to this channel now here we have created a channel called time instances channel 
and use sub channel variable to refer it now we'll say sub channel dot subscribe now every time something changes here i would like to get notified by the help of a callback so within the callback i would just change the contents of this heading tag that we used in our html file so let's go ahead and get the element by id we have given the id as text if you remember so i would say text dot inner html equals json dot stringify message dot data that's it we are all set on the subscriber side now the last step is to build our publisher.js file now if you remember this is our backend server which will publish data right and it is our node.js file so before using it make sure you have the ably npm module installed so go back to the terminal and say npm install ably before doing this make sure that you have node and npm installed on your system and wait for it after it's installed require it like so var ably equals require ably and that's it next we need to instance ably's real time library exactly in the same way that we did in our subscriber file so we can in fact copy these three lines from our subscriber which would connect to ably's real time library using basic authentication over the same api key and also can attach to the channel called time but this time it will be my published channel right and next let's go ahead and publish some data to this channel publish channel dot publish let's say we're publishing an update and we'll say time is date dot now now to make this more apparent let's go ahead and set it in an interval and publish this data every 1 second so set the interval as 1 now put this publish statement within this interval function callback and that's it we're all set with the publisher as well the last step is to test our application so in order to test it run your npm file in the integrated terminal here let's say just say node publisher.js and this will make our publisher file publish this update every 1 second continuously and before we run this go ahead and open your index.html file in a browser to see if this data be, which is being published is received by our subscriber in the browser so go to your html file open it in the browser and go to the console to see if we have any errors now within the integrated terminal we are publish we are running the publisher and fingers crossed now the publisher is running we don't have any errors go back to your browser and tada now you see that the publisher is publishing new time every 1 second and that new data is being received by our subscriber in real time using ably's real time platform and it is in turn being displayed in our browser within the h1 tag simple isn't it that's all for this publish subscribe tutorial i'll see you all in next ably's quick bit